Our next speaker is Tommy Abicola Mecca. He's a longtime queer activist and housing rights affordable housing advocate who's worked for the Housing Rights Committee of San Francisco for the past 15 years. He recently helped set up Jazzy's Place. It's a shelter for the LGBT community. And Marty's Place, a co-op for low-income and homeless people with AIDS. If you can, go online and search for Jazzy's Place because, well, Tommy's been posting some amazing articles on his Facebook page about the people who are going to Jazzy's Place. Tommy is also a singer and author of the book Smash the Church, Smash the State, <laughs> the Early Years of Gay Liberation. Tommy. Oh, can you hear me without standing up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I gotta hold my paper in my hand. When I considered the question at hand about how progressives can use the mayoral race, I have to think back to 1999, the Tom Aliano write-in campaign against incumbent Willie Brown. Gabriel Holland and I decided to draft Tom to run against Brown because the city was in the grips of, guess what, a housing crisis, the first dot-com boom, and Brown was doing absolutely nothing to help the folks being evicted and priced out of the city. In fact, Brown had said, if you don't earn $50,000, you shouldn't live in San Francisco. I'm not making that up. In other words, fuck the poor and the working class. Fuck Brown. If, <laughs> after much coaxing, Tom jumped in at the last moment. And in two weeks, two weeks, we got him into a runoff against Brown. Immediately, there was international attention on the race. And we used it to focus on housing issues and the changes that were happening to the city that were not positive. That campaign was actually centered in two neighborhoods, the Castro and the Mission. Tom didn't win, of course, but we turned local democratic machine politics upside down. And we mobilized a lot of folks who had never been involved in politics before, creating a groundswell that resulted the following year in the election of a majority of progressives to the Board of Supervisors. That's not going to happen this year. Unfortunately, as Tim said, I won't repeat what Tim said, Tim, Tim nailed it. It's not going to happen this year. What I think we need to do, though, to bring attention to our issues, is what we did in May and June. We need to bring people to City Hall and make our demands known loud and clear. Right. On May 8th, we brought a thousand people, most of them from the mission, to City Hall to demand that the city do something about the affordability crisis. We knocked on the mayor's door, and guess what? He couldn't be bothered to open it. On June 2nd, we brought 800 people to the hearing on the proposed moratorium. A group of black ministers led the contingent that went to the mayor's office, knocking on his door again. And guess what? He didn't open it again. But that didn't mean he didn't hear us. Within weeks of those two events, the mayor announced that his housing bond is going to include $50 million for affordable housing in the mission. And that 490 South Van S, right up the street from where I work, has now been purchased by the city and will be 72 units of affordable housing for families in the mission, instead of the luxury condos that were proposed for that site. Meanwhile, the Planning Commission has come up for a proposal for interim controls that is actually a very, very watered-down version of our moratorium. That was the result of our repeatedly going to the Planning Commission and telling them that we didn't want luxury developments such as 490 South Van S. And because word has gotten back to the commissioners that we have shut down the last three community meetings that developers have held in the mission. We shut them down. I think that was not just a hardcore activist like myself. That was families. That was teenagers. That was young people. That was teachers and union workers and the people who live in the mission. They shut them down. These concessions from the mayor's office and the planning commissioner are not enough. 
See, it's not enough. It's not enough. 72 units of housing at, at 15th and South Bay is, is nothing, right? And this, these interim controls are nothing. $50 million will not buy much affordable housing. But it shows that we had an impact, okay? But we're not going to stop until we stop the mission and the monster at 16th and Mission and the beast on Bryan in the 200,000 block of Bryan Street. What it shows is that people power can work. We need more direct action. We need to show up at their offices. We need to do more of these kinds of things during this mayoral election. We need to put the mayor and his administration on the spot. Debates aren't going to cut it. We need to shame this administration publicly, which is what we did on May 2nd when we brought those 800 people. We, because as I said, we brought people from the mission, ordinary people, ordinary laborers, family members. Um, imagine if the hate and Soma and the Castro and Chinatown and North Beach did the same thing. What if they all brought a thousand people from their neighborhoods to City Hall and made the same demands that they want a moratorium in their neighborhood and they want nothing but 100% affordable housing in their neighborhood? Imagine. But this is what we as progressives have to do because the electoral, the electoral political system does not work. In fact, the reality is that the system, period, does not work. It's broken. It only works for the rich. We know that. We've known that. We can't have illusions about the system. We can't band-aid it, which is what we constantly do. As much as I support the moratorium and the Airbnb regs, the reality is they don't go far enough. We need to do more. What we need to do is be relentless. We need to not let the decision makers, whether it's the Board of Supervisors or the Planning Commissioners, off the hook until they give us what we need to stop the evictions, to stop gentrification, to be self-sufficient with living wage jobs, affordable housing, and health care for all, and safety nets that guarantee that we remain self-sufficient. We need to call out this city and force it to deal with class issues right. and economic justice as a human right. As I said, we can't rely on the politicians, no matter how left-wing they are, no matter how great the rhetoric is. We have to rely on ourselves. We are the power, not City Hall and not the politicians. These issues are bigger than this mayoral race. These issues are bigger than ballot measures. These issues are about taking back our city. These issues are about taking back the land in this city. And we do that via vehicles like the Community Land Trust and co-ops. We do it by taking the land off of the free market because the free market only benefits the rich. And how the hell did the real estate people get control of the land? They don't own the land, it's not theirs. The land belongs to all of us and none of us. Okay? And we got to take it back. We have to take back our right to health care, to food, to be self-sufficient. We need to confront the beast that is greed and speculation and luxury housing. Otherwise, the politicians will continue to placate us and the system will become more and more about the 1% and less and less about the rest of us. Thank you. Are there any upcoming actions that people should know about? <laughs> what is coming up? Think about it. Yeah, well, I mean, with the moratorium, I mean, certainly we want people to get involved. In there's, 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 something, there's something coming up on August 13th at the Mission Neighborhood Center from 6 to 8, a fundraiser for the, uh, for the uh, Mission Moratorium. August 13th from 6 to 8, we're going to raise $250,000 to defeat the $3 million campaign they're going to spend against us. All right, thank you.
And in September, there's going to be um, the, 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 a hearing on the uh, Bryant Street, the, the 2000 block of Bryant Street, where they want to tear down the whole block, which is now artist studios and stuff, and they want to build condos. And there's a hearing on September 10th, and we want to mobilize hundreds of people to be at that hearing and do what we did at the Board of Supervisors. And if necessary, if they vote in favor of it, we want to shut down the Planning Commission. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thank you.